Hello everyone, this is Lou's Tech Source and today I'm going to be talking about Chromebooks and whether they are capable of replacing a PC or Mac. I'm going to go through their productivity, media consumption and gaming to give you a good idea if a Chromebook is right for you. Stay tuned and let's get right to it. Chromebooks are great for Office productivity. If you want to work on Office documents, then you are covered. By using Office Online in the Android versions of Office, you can work on full Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents, though there are few caveats. The first one is, to actually edit files on the Android versions of Office depends on the size of your Chromebook. If your Chromebook has a screen that's less than 10.1 inches, then you can edit files for free. Larger screens require a Microsoft Office 365 subscription, which will run you around $7 a month. But a subscription is not needed for editing files in Office Online, regardless of your screen size. The second caveat is that to work offline, you have to download your documents and use Android apps to edit them. While the online versions will sync your changes if you lose and regain your internet connection, if you have no internet connection at all, you won't be able to connect to the site to access your documents. Finally, the online and mobile versions of Office support most features that the majority of users will need. But if you want to see a comparison of the differences between each version, Microsoft has a detailed chart on their website, which I will provide links to in the description. If you don't mind leaving the Microsoft ecosystem, then you can just use Google's Office Suite for free. It can edit and save Office files regardless of your Chromebook screen size, and they have replacements for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. While they may not be as feature-packed as their Office counterparts, the majority of users will be fine with what they offer. It's one of the reasons why Chromebooks are number one in the classroom. If you want to do serious image and video editing, then you'll find Chromebooks lacking. However, you can do some light image editing with some online editors and Android apps. Photopea is a decent image editor that lets you edit Photoshop PSD files and GIMP files. For video editing, your best bet is to use Android video editors. PowerDirector Mobile is a good one for basic editing. But if you're doing some serious video editing, then you're better off with a PC or a Mac. One thing to remember about Chromebooks is that you are supposed to leave your files in the cloud. Most Chromebooks come with very little storage, so saving your entire music, photo, and movie library will just not be possible. Luckily, Google makes it real easy to do this because they offer unlimited photo and video storage. This is limited to 1080p videos and 16 megapixel photos, so any photos or videos that exceed those limits will be shrunk to meet them. That should satisfy almost anyone. But if you want to store photos or videos of higher quality, you will have to subscribe to one of Google's storage solutions. For music, Google lets you store 50,000 of your own personal MP3s on their cloud for free. But you can choose to pay $9.99 a month to stream the millions of songs they have on Google Play Music. Watching movies works great on Chromebooks. Since you have a full-blown Chrome web browser, you can easily watch Netflix, Hulu, and other streaming services. And again, you can always use the Android apps of your favorite streaming sites or video players like Kodi and VLC. If you expect to be playing the latest games on your Chromebook, then that will be a difficult task. To do this, you will have to set up a PC with Steam in-home streaming and have the Steam Link app installed on your phone. This will allow you to stream the games you own on your PC to your Chromebook. Your other option for gaming is to use the many Android games available on the Play Store. If you're a Fortnite fan, then you will be happy to know that Epic Games is releasing Fortnite on Android really soon. Coding on Chromebooks can be a chore. You can do it with some online websites and Android apps, but it's not ideal and can be difficult to create a full-blown project. A lot of the barriers that Chromebooks have, Google's working hard to break them. They have a project called Crostini, which will allow you to run Linux apps on Chromebooks. Now, this isn't very helpful for people who want to use Photoshop, Premiere, or Final Cut Pro, but this is huge for coders. It will turn a Chromebook into a serious coding machine. Crostini is available now for certain Chromebooks, but keep in mind, this is still an experimental feature and is far from complete. So, can a Chromebook replace a PC or a Mac? I would say it depends. If you do advanced video and image editing or coding, then I would say no. You need a PC or a Mac, 
but a Chromebook is an excellent second machine. You will actually find yourself using the Chromebook a lot if you're not doing any work. For people who work only with Office documents, then I would say it can definitely replace a Mac or PC. Just make sure any specific Office features you use are supported on the online and mobile apps. But for the majority of users, the online and mobile versions of Office or Google Docs will offer everything they need. Chromebooks should be avoided by hardcore gamers. Your gaming experience on a Chromebook will be exactly the same as an Android phone. Just get yourself a nice Windows gaming computer. Like so many things in the world of computing, everything depends on your needs. So I hope the information I gave you today will help you make an informed decision on whether a Chromebook is right for you. If you like this video, please leave a like and a subscribe. It's been fun creating this and I hope to bring you more content soon.